Welcome uh, to this exciting tutorial. Now, I start out all my tutorials saying they're exciting. Of course they're exciting because I am teaching them and I want you guys to get excited and enthusiastic about my proven techniques, techniques that are going to make money. So let's get started. Now, why am I, why am I focusing on Google when there's other search engines out there like Bing and Icos and Yahoo, etc., etc., etc. The answer is very simple: market share. If you're not part of Google, pack up your ball and bat and go home. Google is the premier search engine. Back in if this was 2001, 2002, well, it's a different story. Back then, Yahoo was the premier search engine, but quite frankly, for whatever reason, they blew it. Now, no disrespect to Bing or Yahoo, but I really care less if I'm in those markets because if you're not part of Google, game over. So let me share with you my techniques for improving, getting listed on, higher rankings, etc., etc., using Google. Now, the first thing you probably want to do with Google is to see if your site's listed. More importantly, to see how many pages have been indexed through Google. So as an example, what you want to do here in the Google search engine is type the word site, S-I-T-E, followed by a colon. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to type in one of my websites. Now this is one of my private training websites here in New York City. This is in-person classes, not online classes. So I simply type in site, dobetrainingclasses.com, and boom. Now, this is going to tell me that it found 26 pages. Well, that's a good thing because I have 26 pages on this website. So, this tells you the pages that they listed. Okay, pretty cool stuff, right? So, the first thing you want to do with Google is basically find out how many of your pages are listed. So, you simply go to site, etc., etc. Now, let's take this one step further. Let's say you wanted to look for a site on let's say this site and I'm going to say quotation mark Photoshop so this is going to pull up the pages that have Photoshop listed on them out of these pages there's 15 results okay or I could say Photoshop common comma in design so we Again, this is just a good production test to see what pages are being linked and what subject titles you have there. So if you go to a bigger site like say IBM.com, actually let's just put in Adobe, Adobe.com because that's more pertinent. So site name, lowercase, my mistake on that. So Adobe.com, Photoshop, InDesign. Now 248,000 pages, obviously because they create the software. Okay, so let's take this one step further. So let's say Photoshop quotation comma quotation mark how to use. So this is going to show you on the Adobe website. So this is very important stuff. This is going to help you as to what pages are being listed for your site or your client's site inside of Google. So it's simply site, colon, name of the site. Then you can put keywords separated in with commas inside of quotation marks. And that's going to basically pull up those relevant pages if, in fact, those pages aren't coming up. 
Now, the other advantage of this technique, too, is sometimes the actual website itself that you go to, their search results suck. So this is using the Google search engine to actually search the website. Because algorithmically, sometimes somebody designs a site, they have a search engine, uh, or they have a search box on their site, but it's not up to par. Okay, So this is a good way to actually search a particular site by simply going to site, colon, name of the site and put in keywords or phrases that you're looking for so let's continue this understanding in our next video are you excited yet good get excited okay now what i want to share with you to demonstrate to you that i am for real i'm the real deal i'm not selling snake oil here like so many other seo experts no disrespect some of out there or kind of sort of know what they're doing but the amount of money that you spent on this stuff is ridiculous these are techniques you can do absolutely for free on your own if you know what you're doing now to demonstrate that i am walk the walk and talk the talk let's simply do a search i'm going to search for a dream weaver html5 and i'm just going to put the word classes or i can put training or i can put courses etc etc so the proof is in the pudding here i'm simply going to type in dreamweaver html5 classes now you would expect because i i would get classes all over the world okay but look what comes up now i just want to teach you something very valuable these no disrespect but these knuckleheads here who probably paid in the training business my business they paid between say five up to say twelve dollars a link click so i wanted to charge this guy 12 bucks or seven bucks or it's probably somewhere around that i can click right here so these to me don't count because they paid to be here these knuckleheads don't count because they paid to be here too plus here's another thing i want to share with you People are pretty much want to deal with mom and pop types of businesses. They don't want to basically click. They're intimidated to click on these big corporate entities or these corporate websites because they think they're going to be spammed or they think they're going to basically capture their email addresses, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So what I want to share with you is people want to deal with mom and pops. And they typically don't want to select these links over here. Plus, you're going to be money per click for these so these are very expensive especially in the trading category that i am to be in so you can pay a lot of money for these clicks don't do it so i simply typed in dreamweaver html5 classes now i could have typed in training courses lectures tutorials etc etc so let's scroll down to the bottom and see who came up first well i came up first now to addendum that I own about 900 websites. Okay, now you might say, whoa, that's crazy, that's cuckoo. Well, I have a lot of services, I have a lot of products. I use a lot of those sites for marketing purposes only to basically build traffic to get clients, the people sign up for my services, training, web design, production, etc., etc. So if I click right here, this is nothing more than a simple WordPress site that was put together years ago and it's still working. Okay, now notice my URL, which I talked about before. Okay, what you call your site is very important because this is going to come up in a search engine. So if I separate my text, I'll talk about that in more detail in just a second. But I just want to share with you that's one thing. The second thing is look at the title of my website. The title page is very important to search engines. Okay, so I'm going to back out of this i'll talk about uh naming conventions for your website in just a second okay now here's another important thing here this is my website now i just want to share with you this is actually a clumsy mistake okay i can't tell you how much business i get off this i i think this is about maybe about a year ago I set up a separate page on Facebook. I'm just going to click here. I basically don't even use this page. I don't market the page. I don't promote the page. But it comes up in search engines quicker than the other pages I market. So if I click right here, here's my main Think Learn Earn website. Okay. 
This page has more likes and more hits and more traffic, but strangely enough, this page, which I just posted, has really no content, yet this comes up in a search engine and people contact me through this page. So it's very important. So Facebook, we'll talk about that in more detail. So this is a Facebook page. Here's a YouTube page, which comes up in a search engine, which is also very valuable. So if I click here, not gonna play this video, but cancel that for a second. So here, this is a page that was published April 29, 2012, okay? And more importantly, here's my information. Down here at the bottom is my tags, my description, et cetera, et cetera, for that particular course. Now, what's important to understand, what did I call this video? Whatever you call a video, that's what you're gonna search in the video. So my video title is not some ambiguous world's greatest dreamweaver training because who's going to search for world's greatest dreamweaver training? I put things in here that are simply going to come up in a search engine. So dreamweaver, notice I have redundancies, tutorial, lesson, course, HTML, CSS, responsive design, etc, etc. So I'll talk about that in more detail, but I just want to share with you that my techniques work. Now, also, I'll talk about Craigslist and other things as well, but I just want to share with you simply by putting in those words. Now, let's take this one step further. Let's change this up a little, little bit. Let's put in training and let's put in Manhattan because this is for my training, in-person training in New York City. So, let's put uh, training classes. Manhattan. Okay, so this is my site. This is my site. This is my site. So a lot of my sites are gonna. This is my site right here. This is my Twitter account. What are my Twitter accounts? This is my site. This is my site on YouTube. This is my site on YouTube. This is another on YouTube. So basically, by putting in that simple catchphrase, I'm based every link on here except for looks like two. I'm every link on here except two. And if I click right here, then this is me. Okay, that's not me. Okay, this is me. So I'm all over the search engines. Now I want to share with you that none of these listings cost me a dime. They were free. It just talked me it just cost basically cost me some time and some very simple techniques I will share with you as we build our course in our next video.